Well, today I would like to do something just a little bit different than what we normally do. You know, this is uh, Thanksgiving week, and uh, we all should be thankful for the wonderful things that God gives us and uh, affords for us. And so, you know, one of the things that I want to make mention of is that uh, we ought to give him thanks and praise and adoration for the wonderful things that God has for us because the scripture does tell us uh, that all things are of God but by Jesus Christ. And so with that, said I'm going to give you two or three scriptures here today uh, well maybe a few more than that uh, but uh, and I will read them uh, but what I want to you to do is uh, to express to God your thankfulness uh, for what he has given us and so I'm giving you a, a, an assignment uh, today in place of the regular uh, Bible class. Not that we're not going to use some of the Bible, because we are. But I, I, I would like you to make a list of all the things that you are thankful for. And I might might relay this to you you know many times many families take and as just before they prepare to eat the thanksgiving dinner they they will go around the table and and ask uh, each one to say what they are thankful for well when allison was just a little girl five or six you know uh, it came around to her turn, and uh, and they ask her, well, what are you thankful for? And she says, I'm thankful for knees. And uh, she says, because if we didn't have knees, we would all be walking around like penguins. And so that's kind of comical, but... Uh, when you think about it, it's all in God's plan. And and my my wife at this point in time can can very much say, thank God for knees. <laughs> but uh, but I would like for you to make a list. And in this list, meditate on the Lord uh, and express your thankfulness to Him for all the wonderful things that he has bestowed upon us. There's many things that we should be thankful for. So I'm gonna read a few scriptures and then uh, your assignment is to get out a legal pad or a long list of papers and list the things that you are thankful for. and. Why not look up a few scriptures yourself? Because see, this is a, a Bible class. It's for study. So it would be good for you to look up some scriptures and to uh, memorize them and put them into your heart, uh, how you can be thankful for God. And then when you testify, you can always use those thank thankfulness scriptures to uh, begin your testimony with for God. All right, I want to pick it up at uh, Psalms uh, 105 and 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, and make known his deeds unto men. So this is what we should be doing. And it goes on to say, sing unto him, sing psalms, unto him talk ye of all his wonder wondrous works glory ye in his holy name and let the heart of them rejoice that seek the lord 
Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. So these are all things to be thankful for. And if you notice in the very first verse, it says to make known his deeds unto men. Have you been doing that? Have you told? Have you testified? Have you told of his goodness? And so that's the first one that we're starting with. And then here, just a page or so over, is Psalms 107. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and for his mercy endureth forever. Thank God for his mercy. And we should be giving him thanks. And then I would like to, for us to go over to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And uh, the, let's see, I think it's the 57th. Yes, 57th verse. But thanks be to God, which giveth us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. God gives us the victory and is through the Lord Jesus Christ. That is something that we should be very, very thankful for. And then let's turn over to 2 Corinthians. And let's see, the ninth chapter and the 15th verse. It says, thanks be to, unto God for his unspeakable gift. And what does that mean, unspeakable? That means our words cannot express uh, the wonderfulness, the glory, the, the mercy uh, of God's gift to us. It, it's just beyond what our words can say, but we must try, shouldn't we? And then I want to close this sec sec section with... Uh, Colossians, and this is the third verse of the first chapter. It says, we give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. And with that scripture, I'm going to close this, because I want you to take this time to think of the goodness, the mercy, the compassion, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Heavenly Father that loved us so much uh, that he didn't want us to be forever forgotten from him. And so let's give glory unto him. And if you notice on the last part of that, it says, I pray for you. I'm praying for each and every one of you. And I'm praying that God will bless you, that God will keep you, that God will give you mercy, compassion, and love, and that you will be able to share that mercy, compassion, and love to, the, to others. And uh, let me say uh, once again uh, that I'm thankful for each one of you and thankful for the blessings of God. Now, uh, I want to give this time over to you. But before I leave, I want you to, I want to tell you, may you have a wonderful, and blessed Thanksgiving 
enjoy the time with your family. And remember, your pastor is praying for you. God bless you. Keep you forever. Amen.